No, I haven't watched Top Gun. I'm just putting it out there. This episode starts with Rainbow and her friends hanging out under her house, waiting for some mail. Apparently, Rainbow's waiting to find out if she got into the Wonderbolts Academy, and it turns out that she didn't. That's the end. Good night, everybody. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, she got in. And no, that doesn't count as a mean-spirited joke. Pinky gives Rainbow a hug, and Rainbow sets off for a whole week. So she arrives at the Wonderbolts Academy, and is instantly dazzled by all the ponies doing training-like things. Alright, I suppose I should bring something up. People seem to wonder why it took Rainbow so long to actually move forward towards her dreams. Looking in that crowd there, we can see some of the ponies from Hurricane Fluttershy, and I always assumed that that episode had something to do with this. Spitfire greets these new recruits, and... Oh no, they changed the voice! They changed his voice! Oh wait, I don't care! And I don't care about her seeming personality change either. In previous appearances, Spitfire was mingling. Here, she's on the job, waiting out new recruits. It's not the time to be friendly and warm, if you know what I mean. We meet a new pony. This is Lightning Dust, and she's more cocky than Rainbow. I'm just gonna say that Lightning Dust is probably my favorite one-shot character. She makes a great antagonist, playing off Rainbow wonderfully, and she actually has believable motivations. Also, she doesn't speak an outdated 90s slang. Rainbow and Lightning actually seem to hit it off quite nicely, and it already seems like they're the best flyers in this new batch of recruits. We got to Pinkie Pie, who is searching through her mailbox, nervously waiting for a message from Rainbow. Applejack tries to get her to step away from the mailbox, but Pinkie has sound reasoning to be there. I don't know how they come up with stuff like this. So, in other words, you're sticking by the mailbox. Yep! Honestly, Meriwether should have those two co-star in a future one of our episodes. We cut back to Rainbow training at the Wonderbolts Academy. The next challenge is something called the Dizitron, which is meant to test how fast the recruits can get out of a tailspin. Rainbow sets a new Academy record, but then Lightning Dust steps up and asks for the machine to be put at maximum speed. She doesn't beat Rainbow's time, but she comes close. Then Spitfire announces for the rest of the week, the recruits will be working in pairs. And each team has a lead pony and a wing pony. Guess what happens? Lightning Dust and Rainbow end up on the same team. But Rainbow just so happens to be the wing pony. She doesn't take it too well. In fact, she goes to complain to Spitfire about it. But Spitfire actually has surprisingly sound reasoning that Lightning Dust pushed herself harder. The next challenge is Capture the Flag. There are two teams, a red team and a blue team. Lead ponies and wing ponies need to fly together. If any pair splits apart, they will be immediately disqualified. So the teams get going, and it looks like Rainbow's having a hard time keeping up, and Lightning is having a hard time taking Rainbow's advice. As they approach a flag in a crevice, Rainbow suggests that they slow down. Lightning doesn't, and Rainbow ends up hurting her wing. Spitfire notices that Rainbow's wing is hurting, but Lightning doesn't. Of course, Rainbow doesn't want to admit that she's hurt, and she starts flying off. We cut back to Pinky and her mailbox. Yeah, all the back and forth kind of tarnishes the mood. But it's not too bad here, since, for one, it's actually relevant to the plot, and two, it happens much less often than it did in the Crystal Empire. Pinky's friends are looking pretty depressed at Pinky looking depressed. And Pinky thinks that Rainbow's forgotten who she is. Yes, that's in character. It's been three days, Pinky's barely slept, and she's Pinkie Pie. Twilight suggests that Pinky send her a letter instead, and then Pinky gets the idea to send a whole care package. And through another leap of logic, Pinky decides that it would be better if they send the care package in person. Back at the Wonderbolts Academy, the next challenge is an air obstacle course. Spitfire claims that it's not a race, but to Lightning, it's so obviously a race. And in order for her to win this race, she's decided that she has to pass the other flyers, and starts knocking them back. Lightning Dust did that in a storm cloud where there was no way that Spitfire could see them. Honestly, does this show have to actually point out every tiny detail? They touch down and set a new Academy record, and Rainbow's actually feeling a little bit guilty, but Lightning isn't. Like I said before, they play off each other really well. Either way, Lightning places it in Rainbow's head that only the best of the best can be a Wonderbolt. The next challenge is to clear a bunch of clouds. Even though Rainbow Dash and Lightning Dust are extremely far ahead, Lightning wants to push their score even further. And because Rainbow wants to push herself further, she goes along with Lightning's plan, which is to create a tornado. They do it, and they lose control, causing it to go haywire. And right on time, Rainbow's friends appear in a hot air balloon. The tornado heads right for them, and Rainbow sees them in danger. After they get flung, and their balloon gets popped, she races in to save them. Rainbow ties together a cloud, which functions as a trampoline, and launches them back into the air. Yes, I know they probably used the cloud walking spell again, but there was absolutely no way that Rainbow could have known that, especially in the heat of the situation. Lightning finds Rainbow's stunt awesome, but Rainbow's less than impressed that her friends nearly got killed. Rainbow finally stands up to Lightning Dust. Then Lightning replies that Spitfire made her the lead pony, and Rainbow the wing pony. Realizing this, Rainbow stands up to Spitfire, and pretty much gives up on her dream, if it means hurting others. That's a really intense moment, and even Rainbow realizes it. Spitfire comes out, and says that Rainbow is right, and makes her the lead pony, and takes away Lightning's badge. And then the episode pretty much ends. I have to give this episode four stars. This ending leaves far too many questions, like, 
what happened to Lightning Dust, and how is Rainbow standing with the Wonderbolts? Yes, I do know about the original script to the episode, and that leaves me confused. If you need to cut something, why remove the ending? It's obviously pretty important. If you had to cut something, you could have at least toned down the pinky segments. Whether you liked them, hated them, or found them depressing, I think we can all agree that they could have been trimmed. All we really needed was an extra minute or so. But other than that, and one or two logical flaws, this episode was great. In fact, this episode did for Rainbow Dash what Hurricane Fluttershy did for, well, Fluttershy. It pushed their character in all the right directions and hung high with emotions the whole way through. This is definitely Meriwether's best episode to date. I think pretty much everyone will agree on that. And in fact, it put her back on a lot of people's good side since Meriwell put her on their bad side. I am not one of those people, because Meriwell did not put Meriwether on my bad side. Putting her hoof down, and to a lesser extent, Dragon Quest did. But if she can do something like this again, I'm not adverse to seeing another Meriwether Williams episode in Season 4.